All praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rechakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith and truth and sincerity and wholeheartedly, Shalom to the Ahwa, which is the women believers, Shalom to you. Now, I was sitting here thinking about, you know, a lot of Jake hate the word because the, the word wasn't taught as an origin of what's the true intentions and what's the true meanings, you know, of these words. You know, Christianity never went into prophecy. Christianity never told us about, you know, why we in the positions that we are in, the conditions. And, you know, Christianity got a lot of pay for. But it all start off with the Roman Catholic Church, which Catholic means universal. And all the branches came from the Roman Catholic Church and Edomites are the head of the Roman Catholic Church. You know, we know the history about what happened to us in slavery, how we got our hands chopped off or even killed for even reading the Bible. Their whole plan was to never allow us to get our hands on the book at that time. And then the times we was actually able to get our hand on the book. We was already indoctrinated with a doctrine that they instilled on us. They beat white Jesus into us. Our four parents, then your grandparents, your parents, you know, they was indoctrinated. Then we became indoctrinated until the Lord gave us the Holy Spirit and majority of the world is indoctrinated. And the bad thing about the indoctrinated is that you got some people who are indoctrinated, but then they walk up to them to their senses and be like, man, this is some bullshit. But see, that's the problem. They woke up to them to their senses about the doctrine that you've been indoctrinated with is bullshit, but they didn't wake up to the truth because, you know, Christianity, you know, it, it's all about prosperity. It's all about, you know, coming as you are, just believing when the, the scriptures is the total opposite of that. Now, the Lord, just to give you a quick account. It said, now, therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then you should be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. And you should be unto me a kingdom of priests and holy nation. These are the words which you shall speak unto the children of Israel. So the Lord only spoke to the children of Israel. What Christianity teach? The Lord speak to everybody. He loves everybody. Can he give other nations dreams and things like that? Yes. But actually speak it to them according to the covenant. No. <clears throat> so Christianity teach you the total opposite of what the scriptures said. This is why I always quote this scripture, because it's very, very important. He that believe on me as the scriptures has says. All right. That's very important. The reason that Yahweh Shah had to put that in there, because first of all, he knows from the beginning to the end. He's actually called the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. All right. He knew even at that time, people was teaching the precepts of men and he knew about the future. How much even more that was going to be the case. <clears throat> so. Christianity. And then don't let me get on the Israelite Christian pastors. They got a lot of blood on their hand, but don't nobody got more blood on their hand than the Edomites. Because guess what? All of this is happening under your watch. This is why you're going to be done away with. And Moses came and called for all the elders of the people and laid before their faces all these words which Yahweh have commanded him. And all the people answered together and said, all that Yahweh have spoken, we will do. And Moses returned the words of the people unto Yahweh. This is the reason why we are under curses. When you go 
Deuteronomy 28, 15 on down, it said if we ain't keep the words of this book, all these curses should come upon us. Did Christianity teach us that? No. So now our people is scattered. And I'm talking about not just scattered physically, mentally. Wherever you scatter that, whatever philosophy feel good to your heart, that's what you're keeping now. You could be a Muslim. You could be Pan-Africanism, Egyptology, Christianity, Buddha. People, shit, you even got Israelites who just plan out Satan worshipers. All because the true doctrine never was taught until 1969. Up until this day. 2007 was a very, very important year because that's when the truth got on the internet and went to the four corners of the earth. So, you've been taught prosperity, gain is godliness. God loves everybody. You can come as you are. Just believe. There's a lot of blood on Israelite Christian pastor's hand. See, nobody cares about the nations. The nations, if they don't believe in God, they ain't supposed to. The Lord don't deal with them on a spiritual level. That's why they create their own gods. That's why they worship the sun and the moon. They worship the creation and not the creator because they don't have a father. That's why when the kingdom come, the scripture says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. <laughs> <clears throat> they ain't just talking about Israelites. That's talking about everybody because now they're going to know Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. They don't know them right now. The scripture says in Malachi 1 and 14 that the name is dreadful among the heathen. So this is Christianity in a nutshell. These sets of scriptures I'm going to get. This is what we've been taught. And then when these things don't happen unto you, you try to force it. Because Christianity, at least when I went to church, you sing those songs, those demons get on you. Uh, the water, you howl about, I was shy. I never caught the fake ass Holy Ghost. All right. But I used to see people. I actually, at one point in time, I used to think something was wrong with me because I never caught it. But now I understand why I never caught it. Because that's demons. All right. So the Lord even had me somewhat in the right mind, even in Christianity. I always was a scripture guy. But, you know, but you're seeing these people hooting and hollering, uh, Harlem shaking, <laughs> you know, and, and I ain't going to lie, that church music, it, it hits your soul. You know, you got great singers and, and the instruments and all of that. So you, you come out of church feeling good instead of coming out of church. Man, I need to change and feeling sorry. So it says, but godliness with contentment is great gain. But we brought nothing into this world and certain we can carry nothing out. Having food and raiment, let us there would be content. You can't tell a Christian that. Even though this is what we have. But the whole time your mind state is trying to get more. And what happens is that you compromise your morals to get more. You do whatever it takes to get more. If the opportunity presents itself, see, we so much in hell that even opportunities don't even present their, themselves. You have to go out there and get it. Robbing, stealing, killing, compromising your morals, you know. But if if Christianity actually taught you the truth, you wouldn't have that mindset. Set. That's why. Esau, he created the education system. Because he know about that scripture. If you train up a child the way it should go, it should never depart. Education don't teach us nothing about God. It actually gets us farther away from God. So by the time you get, you know, teenager, high school, we are already indoctrinated with who you are and what you want to be. But they that will be rich fall into a temptation and a snare. So being rich in this world, that's all it brings because in this world, it's nothing but access to wickedness. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. So what you think the assets going to be? So now you engulfed 
because this whole world is catered around serving your flesh. So if you got money, oh boy, you're going to be able to serve your flesh. And it's, and you're going to be so far in too deep that you can't get out. That's why the Lord said hardly it's, uh, it's hard for a rich man to enter to the kingdom of heaven. It's easier than a camel to go through an eye of a needle. All right. And, and the camel going through an eye of a needle is a very narrow gate, the city gate. Camel are bigger than men. You know, those they, those were man-made, you know, interests. So it's hard for a camel to go through that. They have to stoop down, take off all the luggage to get through it, which is very symbolic of you have to give up this world to enter into the kingdom of heaven. So it says, but they will be rich, fall into a temptation and snare and into many foolish and hurtful lust. Which drown men in destruction and uh, perdition, which the the, uh, the examples that I gave, a whole bunch of assets to fulfilling your flesh, a whole bunch of harlots out here. And let's be real, as much as I don't, I can't stand the Israelite woman because of her mindset, they still beautiful out here. All right. So imagine having, you know, money and assets to them. Oh, you you done. That's why these men end up broke because they become trick daddies or they'll marry a fine one and then she'll divorce him and take half his money you know women will be the number one uh destruction and perdition <laughs> causer for the love of money is the root of all evil see when you love money you do any and everything to get it which compromise your morals that's why that scripture was created what is a man that gained the whole world but lose his soul while which while some coveted after they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows because what end up happening is that you live in your life you in mirth time goes by and then judgment comes see these scriptures is nothing new under the sun but the scriptures mean even more at the end because see all those captivities and all the times that we came back to the earth through reincarnation, it wasn't judgment season. It wasn't time for the Lord to judge the world. Now it is time for the Lord to judge the world. So now while you living in Murph still, you still got money. You still able to go here, there and everywhere, go sleep with this woman, that woman do this and do that. Judgment is approaching, and that's where the many sorrows going to come from. So we all have to go through the straight gate. Your straight gate is going to be worse for you because we're going through the straight gate now, looking to be delivered in the time of judgment. That's when your judgment starts. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning. See, your end is going to be, whew, that's what I'm going to do. You're going to starve. And if you do, if you escape the famine, the scripture said the sword going to get you. If you escape the sword, captivity going to get you. If you escape all three, the teeth of wild beasts going to get you. The Lord got, you ever, remember that show? Uh, what was it a thousand one ways to die or something like that? But the Lord got way more ways than that. So it says, but you, O man of the most high, flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, and meekness. And that's what we do to the best of our ability. Fight the good fight of faith. This is what we're doing. Lay hold on eternal life. This is what it's all about. This is what we do this for. Whereunto you are also called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. So when we go out there, we're professing the Lord. In the midst of many witnesses. And that's why you see camps all over the world. Because of the men of the Lord. I am a fruit. All right. I seen the man of the Lord. Doing what they doing. And now I'm doing what they doing. All praises to Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. So the main reason why our people can't get into this truth. And, and, I'm, and I'm talking about the ones who talk shit against it. The ones who say, oh, that's the white man's book and all of that. It's because the indoctrination that you was indoctrinated with from a child until you were adult. And then you never had any understanding. And when you don't understand something, you cast it behind your back or you scoff against it. So that's why I say you Christian pastors, which that scripture, 
the Christian pastor, woe unto them who scattered my flock. You got a lot of blood on your hand. And also Esau, Eden, we know what's going to happen to him. He created this whole system of Roman Catholic Church. So all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Hopefully this video is edifying and shalom.